right over there, if you can, uh, yes. So Alisa and uh, the uh, I suppose you were small in the public technical states when three years ago. How familiar are you with the materials? Um, actually, I wasn't born yet on this stage. <laughs> it was, I think, 1996, and my birth year is 1997. So your question is, how familiar I yeah, am? Yeah, with the material. With the material. Because I am uh, I'm a very big devotee of Mount Mary, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I'm a very devout Catholic then. So that's why I'm very familiar with the story. It's because I'm kind of, uh, I know the story of Mama Mary ever since, because I'm also, I studied in a Marian school. So, yeah, so I think I'm familiar of it kasi, because of my devotion to her and, of course, Jesus. Yeah, so just like Laurie, so Laurie's um, uh, Marian devotee. What about Al? How old were you? Uh, you were, were you born? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's already first uh, staging of um, I was just hearing stories about the, the production uh, when I started in the theater uh, from like Kuya Bochi, who was part of the first cast before. And, and I've been hearing a lot of good stories about it and, and it is this actually this is a dream for me now to be part of this production that's why when sherwin asked me to, to be part of it and, and knowing that it's gonna be with them because they've been my old friends sherwin anna and glenn in the industry and i was so excited to to do to say yes actually and then knowing that it will be magnificent of course the music of um ryan Kiyagab, and then the libretto and having Derek Loris as our director I could say that she's very nurturing. Actually, parang she's magnificent. She inanamen in the whole production. She takes care of us very, very well. So in yung asar ng feeling, that's why I told them everybody na every time I go to the rehearsals, it's it's a joy because having them around. And I guess this is really a uh, will be a very memorable production for everyone. Okay, so uh, Loris, uh, Marian devotee, and I suppose Ada and Alisa. Are you a Marian devotee? Yeah, How yeah. many members of the cast are Marian devotees? I think more than half of the cast, right? Yeah. Because I am a devotee of, of a lady of perpetual help and, and all, all other saints. And that's why I'm very close to, to, to Mama Mary also. And, and I grew up without my mom on my side because I, I grew up sa, sa Lola. So that's why, and my teachers uh, back in grade school, they introduced me to the Our Lady of Perpetual Help as my guide. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, na Tito Ricky. Thank you po si Tito Ricky do ng Philippine Star. So, po si Kuya Mario dumawal ng ABS-CBN. Ako na din Ricky yung 1996. Okay. Eloise, okay. congratulations. Uh, Nakaka-excite uh, that you're now at the helm of uh, Magnificat. You know? Pakikwento mo lang kung uh, ano yung konteksto, ano yung gaano kabigat yung pagsasabi mo ng ganito. How can I say no to Mama Mary? Uh, actually, the one that put it to me was si Anna. Uh, kasi si Anna, okay. Uh, kasi, well, she's with the uh, with Lear Opera. And like before, she asked me if I could. She was also the one that they asked to ask me to direct uh, Carmen. So uh, I accepted it, no? Because okay. it was my fir the first time I would direct an opera. Correct, yes. So, uh, eto ngayon, nung sinabi, can you direct Magnifica? So, um, in my mind, Alam mo, mahirap yun. Mahirap talaga, not just the staging. True. Mahirap. Yes. Sabi ko, at mahirap at saka, paano mo i, paano mo i going, ano to, attractive to the audience. This is kung sinasabing religious, ayaw na, di ba? So, uh, so mahirap ba din? Uh, I never say no, but immediately, alam kong, it's, it's just, it's not them asking me. It's Mama Mary asking me. Parang gano'n. So parang, how can I say no? Laging yes yan, no matter what. Pikit mata, talon. <laughs> Alam ko, maging may, sabi ko, okay, si Sherwin, syempre, pinag-uusapan namin mga, you know, syempre, mga difficulties uh, in the production. Tapos sabi ko, Sherwin, ano man ang sabihin ko, huwag mo na i-process na masasaktan ka. I-direct mo na lang sa finger mo at i-text mo yung tao, may problema ako. <laughs> okay. Kasi ganun. Was it hard, Anna, to... Uh... <laughs> no, actually, when they asked, kasi, um, Sherwin and I, we were talking na, ano kayang maganda nating next production na, na, na gawin sa Lyric Opera? 
I was thinking it because I was part of the original cast. I was only fifth when I they were rehearsing and auditioning in our house. I was only 14 years old. So I knew the music before they, they even staged it. Ako nag Xerox na. Si mami nag transcribe, tapos na ako ang nag, nag, uh, nag Xerox ng script. I was 14. I was, I, you know, nakita ko pa si Rachel Herodias na audition noon. And, and all the Dulce and, and Tita, you know, Tita Dulce and Tita, Tita Pinky were audition. As in, you know, and, and so when he asked me what kind of musical kaya, I was already thinking of Magnificat, but I wasn't like, nagiingat ako. Sabi niya, Ana, Magnificat ni Tito Ness. Ganyan. Oh my gosh, hindi nang iniisip ko. And then like, oh no, how do we stage this? Who would be the perfect, who would be the perfect director? And top of mind mo is... Nagiingat din ako kasi si Mami was okay, paying MWF and then shooting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and and like and she's not spring chicken so <laughs> although she does look young she's I am also careful na ayoko namang pagulin si Mami so sabi ko the perfect one who would respect the material enough and who has depth and also the the freedom who is mag magaling very free ang ideas. So I said, si mami idea di. But I'm, I'm gonna see if kaya kasi she's really busy. So I waited, you know, I waited a few days. Sumachempo ako sa kanya. When I went on, she was just playing cards on the computer. Then, um, ano, kasi may staging ng Magni, tapos na nilid sa big, ano, and I also wanna be in it, and you know, I'll be in it. So, para, parang hinahaf he must na. You you want to direct it? Yes. For Mama Meg, yes. Para when I texted, remember I I'm so prepared na ako sa monologue ko para kung paano siya i-convince but good good good. Direct. Kala namin may kala namin may VR. Wala wala. Wala wala. Yes. All for Mama Meg is okay. Yes. Ano na tatanong sa big? I got a question. Are you going to invite Nestor to the gala? Po pwede na siya. Kung pwede, actually, we invited him today, but she's, you know, he's a little weak pa. So hopefully in the gala, or if not in the gala, any of the shows, we will definitely have him there. So alam niya itong staging, and uh, what was his reaction the first time you told him about the staging? Oh, uh, uh, pumunta po kasi kami sa Marikina, where he is uh, recuperating. And then, uh, dun po, he, he was very weak. After he was prepared to, to to talk to him for probably an hour, pero within ten minutes po, he wanted to sleep. Na. He was really that weak. Uh, but when when I mentioned po sa kanya that we wanted to do a new staging pagdifikat, he said yes. And then, dun na po. Sabi niya, yeah, you can get the materials from Andy. But yeah, he's really weak po. But we were still hoping that he will be able to watch po. Last question for Luis. Did you touch the material? Did you have to modify it? Uh, well, my question is, paano kong mag respond to the challenge to present Magnificat in uh, our times? I think my response to that, because this has been a question also that in many ways been expressed by some of our cast. And I said, exactly, the, the, the way, it's not important to me to show it as if it happened 2000, I mean, in, in the costuming or the staging that it's in, it's in Jerusalem or Nazareth, it's not important. It could be, and even that, that you are looking, you know, Filipinos, and, ang importante, nararamdaman, you, ma, mapasok, you can empathize, with the circumstances of the characters, no matter how small, alam na natin, yung centurion, so, so, hindi himay-may namin yun, yung ganon, yung mga relationships, yung mga ano yung nasa puso nun. Because ultimately, I think that the, the point is to make this viewable by everybody, the, the actors have to connect with the audience. So connect puso sa puso. Don't answer me, no po, ng Albante. For Aliza, Aliza or Alisa? Alisa po. Hindi yeah, kasi magpasa sa 
Um, but curious lang ako. Ang galing-galing mong kumanta, pero parang hindi mo siya nagamit no, nung mas bata ka. Kasi parang first mo to audition and professional talaga. Um, so before ba wala kang interest talagang pumasok sa musical? Or? Um, ano po, I graduated po sa may UST. Um, I took up a um, bachelor of music major, musical yes. theater. So nag-focus po muna ako in finishing my studies. Kaya hindi pa ako nag-audition muna sa musicals kasi gusto ko po siyang tapusin in five years. So, so yeah, then when, when my professor, who's also part of um, Lyric Opera, yes, she told me to audition. So I took the leap of faith and knowing na, oh, it's magnificat, it's the life of Jesus, the are Mary's eyes. So I took the leap of faith to audition. So now na nanatry mo na, pwedeng idiridiretsya mo na? Well, if it's, I mean, God willing, why not? Yeah. God willing. Kasi ang ganda ng bosses niya nagkulat ako kanina. Oh, thank you so much for that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sunod po nalang si Irvin Santiago ng Bandera. Thank you, Rick. Greg, anong, anong mas challenging or saan ka mas nag-enjoy? Kasi di ba parang tumatak pa rin sa viewers yung ikaanin na utos na talaga <laughs> o oh, sakitan. <laughs> Or, uh, parang, pero dito, iba naman dahil yung uh, religious niya. Saan ka mas na-challenge ko? Iba naman ang challenge doon sa ano, sa kaanib na utos. Ang challenge doon yun talagang Monday, Wednesday, Friday, tapos yes. ano po yan, tan, tsaka kahit, ano, I mean, you know, uh, parang ano yan, ang tawag doon. Uh, you, you, you take it now, you air it tomorrow or even later today, you know. So parang doon ako, not yung challenge akin, doon ako na, doon ako na ka-high plan. <laughs> doon ako, laging hinihika, and, and so on. Pero masarap din naman na yung malaki kita. At ang tagal na malaki ang kita. <laughs> diba? So, pero ito, ang challenge dito, hindi ako sisingin. Kasi para to kay Mama Mary. At alam ko, na magiging mahirap ito, hindi ko pa alam kung ano mga problema ang ibigay sa akin. At the same time, na looking forward, I have faith din naman na kung ano man ang pagkukulang namin lahat para sa show, pupunuan niya pagdating sa oras. So, doon ako excited. No? So, doon ako parang, uh, there's definitely, ang challenge dito, pinapagaan nila, babait sa akin nila. Babait nila sa akin. Pinapakain ako ng... Ano, sinusundo ako and all of that, you know. But, uh, 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 it's a challenge lang um, to my, ano, to my creativity. Na paano ko mai, mai transmit sa audience yung message na alam ko si Nestor, iniisip ko, I put myself, you know, when I listen to them rehearsing, I'm thinking, what must have gone on in Nestor's mind? Why did he write this? You know? Because it's like, you know, if you're writing your last, ano, ito na isusulat mo eh. Parang, you know, iniisip ko, mga ganon na iniisip ko. So parang gusto ko rin, na ano man yun, gusto ko rin ibigay the best. Because he was my teacher, you know? Nung mag-enroll ako sa Ateneo, he was my, I, I majored in, in, nang siya ang head nung department na yun. So he was really a great mentor to me, and, I tried my best, and he was naman fantastic. He would give me A plus, you know, you know. So, yeah. So, ito, gusto kong ganon din ang mangyayari. I want him to be happy and fulfilled that his student, you know, did, did, uh, came across well for his, uh, for his dream. This is the only music, no, he's done other musicals, but this is like, it started it all. So yun, ang haba na sagot ko. Pero Thank yun. you po. Thank you.